All talk, no action. A new city audit shows Austin has been flush with ideas for years on how to stop people from being priced out of their homes. But only 10% of those ideas actually made any impact. As KXAN's Phil Prezen reports, people on Austin's east side say they've had about enough. Austin builds so fast, Google Earth can't keep up. Looking up 1208 Maple on the east side this year, it shows this. If you walk by today, well, it's different. And for community activist Fred McGee, the city finally put on paper what he thought was happening all along. Lip service, you know. The new city audit shows that out of 541 recommendations, resolutions, and other calls to action on displacement and gentrification, only 56 would make a direct impact and are actually implemented. Money, politics, power. A let them eat cake mindset in our elected officials. Katie Houston managed the report and presented it to the city's anti displacement task force. She says calls for actions are either too broad or violate existing law, and there simply isn't a way to keep track of projects. Without kind of that specific tie, it's difficult to know what has been done or, or kind of the, the work that is remaining at this point. She says the ideas are good, the follow through needs work. McGee is more cynical and says the inaction is intentional. Requests for reform from below. Oh, no, that's like pulling teeth. You must have task forces and studies and academic symposia. I reached out for an interview with interim city manager Elaine Hart, but she is out of the office for the rest of the week. The new city manager, Spencer Crunk, doesn't start until Monday. At City Hall, Phil Prezen, KXAN News. Mayor Steve Adler says this audit is exactly what we needed for the task force to get to work. Now they can learn what works and what doesn't and deliver real, actionable solutions.